All right, I want to open up a file called gb1.txt, but I don't have that file yet. So I'll create it. File equals open, open up a file called gb1.txt. And if it doesn't exist, would you please do me the favor of writing it, creating it. Thank you so much. It's now done. What type of object, by the way, is file? It is a text IO wrapper. Wow, IO dot text IO wrapper. Okay, that's a unique, that's a mouthful. All right, um, do I have that file? Let's find out. Import OS, and OS, would you give me a directory listing of my current working directory? I forgot what that is. OS dot get the current working directory for me, please. Display it on the screen, get the directory listing. Yep, there we go. There's the parade of hits. Let me scooch on up here to the top. And uh, there we go, gb1.txt. It has now been created. We are good. Now let's be super duper creative. And it's empty now. Let's write something to it. All right, let's take that file object, that uh, IO wrapper, and text IO wrapper, and uh, call file. And we're going to write to it. And we'll call this line one. Uh, period, backslash, n. That's the new line character. And it tells me seven characters have been written to that file. Well, I am just delighted. File.write. I'm in a roll, so let's do it again. And backslash, n, single quote, close brands. Oh, seven more characters. Uh, one more time. File.write. Line 3, backslash, n, single, quotes, close, parens, and seven more characters get written to the file. Okay, file.close. Remember the open, close, parens. Okay. Now, I'd like to open that... Uh, oh, by the way, what about file? Is file no longer an I.O. wrapper? What type of object is file? Now that the file it is connected to is closed, is it still an text I.O. An IO Text IO wrapper? Yes, it is. Okay. So uh, let's take file and equals open gb1.txt single quote close parens and I didn't specify anything else, so by default it opens it up for read. Okay. So I would like to read one line at a time. How could I read one line at a time? File dot read the line. Open close friends and it read the first line. There it is, line one. Uh oh, dot backslash and it reads reading the new line character as an actual character. Oh. Printing it out. How horrible, how yucky poo. File dot read the line again. And it gets to the next line. That positions itself now after line two. What do you think is going to happen when I key and read the line? Open, close, parens again. It's going to read line three, position itself right after line three in the backslash n character. And I'm going to do it one more time. Read the line. Open, close, parens, and I get the end of file character. That's the quote, quote. It's an empty pair of quotes. Wow. What do you think is going to happen if I key in file, read line again? Stays right there on that character. There's the end of the file. I can go no further. Ah. File, would you do me a favor? Would you go to the uh, very f beginning of the file? Well, how do I do that? How do I find it? You must seek it out. File dot seek. Seek out the zeroth character, the zeroth byte of this file. Go ahead, do it. And it just did it. It's now at the beginning of the file. Now I'm going to do a file again, but I'm going to uh, dot something again. I'm not going to do read line. I'm going to do a read. The difference is it's going to grab everything in the file and print it out onto the screen. Stick it into a string. string. Wow. There they are. What do you know? Now, 
if I do a file dot read again, what do you think is going to happen? Where is the file pointer? It's at the end of the file. <laughs> so if I want to do that read again, which I do want to do, I'll have to go to the beginning of the file again. How do I do that? File.seek0. Seek out the zero of the byte of the file and go there. Okay, it's there. Now, why do I want to do a read again? Because if I do a file.read, I'm going to get the same yucky printout, and I don't want that. I want those uh, new line characters to be, to be treated as print characters. So I'll feed the whole, whole thing to the print command. <clears throat> that means I'll feed the output of file.read to the print command. It will treat those new line characters as print characters and not print them on the screen as it just did a few moments ago with file.read. Here it goes. And ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, there they are. The parade of hits. That looks super duper good. I like that. Well, that's, that's it for now. File.close. Open close prints. And that's about all I have to say for now. This is George Bull saying, Bye-bye now.